Hi, in this chapter, we will understand how LLMs work, how they're trained, their use cases, different tactics and techniques to compromise LLMs, and how cyber criminals are using LLMs to create malware. Hi, in this section, we will explore large language models, also known as LLMs, how LLMs work and their impact on AI. In the subsection, we will learn about large language models and review how they fit into the larger picture of artificial intelligence. Let's start with the puzzle. Here we have a bunch of AI-related terms, learning methods, and types. You're going to group them together, kind of come up with a hierarchical representation. For example, uh, the general AI here and the narrow AI here are types of AI itself. Then you have machine learning, that's part of AI again. So where does supervised learning, unsupervised learning fit in? Pause this video right here. Screenshot this image or write the pieces down in a paper and group these items together. That's the puzzle. Okay, so here we have organized those different items into a grouping that helps understand different items involved in artificial intelligence. So there's narrow AI and general AI that are part of AI. Narrow AI is supposed to help us solve specific tasks, while general AI is supposed to mimic human intelligence. Then we have machine learning, which is a branch of artificial intelligence. Then there are different types of learning, supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement, and deep learning. Deep learning is what is currently used in text processing audio, image, video processing, and generation. Let's quickly explore the applications of some of the machine learning techniques. Supervised learning is used in credit scoring systems, email filtering systems, weather forecasts, and so on. Unsupervised learning is used in segmenting customers, detecting anomalies, grouping customers, grouping items together, or even reducing noises. Reinforcement learning is used in gaming, robotics, and even in drone development. Deep learning is used in natural language processing, image, speech, and other recognitions. In real-world applications, there will actually be a combination of one or more of these learning techniques used together. Could you think of some algorithms or techniques that are used in each of the ML learning techniques described here? Think of some algorithms or techniques for supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement and deep learning. The commonly used algorithms in supervised learning are linear regression, logistic regression, random forests, decision trees. In unsupervised learning, the commonly used algorithms and techniques are clustering, association, dimensionality reduction. In reinforcement learning, we have value-based reward systems, policy-based reward systems, and finally, neural networks, convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks are a part of deep learning. So where do large language models fit in in this entire picture? Where do large language models fit in? Well, LLMs are a part of the text generation capabilities in deep learning. LLMs is what helps you generate text using generative pre-trained transformers. LLMs is what helps you recognize text. So large language models are a part of that text generation capabilities of deep learning, which is part of machine learning, which is part of the broader umbrella of artificial intelligence. So a large language model is an artificial intelligence system that uses deep learning techniques to understand and generate human-like text. LLMs are trained on massive amounts of data, enabling them to process and respond to natural language inputs. So I'm assuming you should have been using LLMs already. What LLMs do you use? Okay. Widespread and everyday examples of LLM include the ChatGPT from OpenAI, which uses a proprietary large language model, 
a Llama from Meta, which is an open source large language model. Anthropic Claude has models to process documents, analyze images, and do other things, which is also a proprietary model. Bard from Google, containing models to assist in uh, writing translations and responding to questions. Amazon Bedrock, which is a fully managed service offering, providing models from various other companies, from Anthropic, Meta, Mistral AI, and others. LLMs process massive data sets of text from the internet, books, and other resources. LLMs are trained on billions or trillions of parameters with extensive computational resources, which is apparently equivalent to a commercial airline making thousands of round trips between New York and Beijing. LLMs are based on transformer neural networks using attention mechanisms. LLMs process text as sequence of tokens and also learns patterns and relationships in languages. So even though it might look like LLMs may possess actual understanding of something, in reality, LLMs are actually good at guessing the next syntactically correct word.